Chris, how are you doing? So as you requested, I am this video is ready now for you to watch so i'm going to be showing you how i made this turban with a bed cage in fact when i finished it i was like wow it actually came out looking good do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this design do you like it would you like to make it all right so if you want to learn more turban designs i do have two classes available for you i have turban class one which will teach you these fantastic designs over here and i also have turban two which has some that doesn't need sewing machine to make it happen but do ask me how i get mine done without a sewing machine below all right then so let's get into today's tutorial You'll be needing raw silk for this. Yes, this is a raw silk and it was 25 by 60 inches and your pin, office pin, then your chalk, your scissors. You'll be needing your measurement tape. Okay. You also be needing one yard of thick crinoline, that's two inches, and your one yard of um, bed cage fill. Well, you won't use the whole one yard. Then you'll be needing your um, lighter. So now I have cut out some pieces which I'll be showing you by measuring them now. This is the base of the, the main part and it's 24 inches by 14 inches. That's the big part of the turban that you'll be making use of. Then I cut out this other small piece. Now this is going to be for the hand. Now because the material is not stretchy, you need to put a hand. This is 10 inches by 4 inches. It's not stretchy, so we're putting a hand and we're going to leave a gap behind at the back so that you can be able to tie it there. So you're going to have two pieces of this 10 by 4 inches. Then we have the band. Now the band, it's going to be 14 inches by 14 inches can you see by four inches and you're going to have two parts of that we're having a long strip of material now this material you how is going to be this crinoline is two inches if you double it because it's going to go around it's four inches you add an extra one inch for allowance so that's uh five inches so you're going to cut the width five inches and by 36 inches so that's what we have for using to make that design you would see very soon how we go about it okay so the next thing we're going to do i'm going to show you what you're going to be doing with this long one now you're going to check since it's silk there's a part that is rough there's a part that is smooth so you're going to be folding it with the wrong side out and you're going to sew it all the way down okay then you turn it the other way i'll show you how we get that done later now i take this is for the band remember it's 14 inches by 4 inches so you're going to fold it into two like so now because we're making a v a v in front i'm going to be cutting out two inches from there Remember, it's a V-shaped, it's not a straight-shaped band. So I measure my two inches like so. And then I take my scissors and I'm going to cut from the folding. It's still folded, take note. I'm going to cut from the folding down all the way up to that two inches. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that to all the four strips, both for the hand and for the band. Now, while I'm cutting, it's still the same thing. Let me explain something. Now, remember, the circumference of your head is two inches. Most people, some have 13 inch, um, 23 inches. So what you do is you extend it to 24 since the material is not elastic so that it will be able to enter into the head, but still we're going to leave space behind. So what I did for the V-neck, remember you're cutting out two inches from one side, two inches from one side. That gives you four inches plus 24. That gives you 28. If you divide it into two, that's 14 inches. So that's why we have a band of 14 inches each. I hope you understand. If you didn't understand, please replay this back. Okay, so let's keep watching and learning. you can't find any of this materials used here in your local store i have dropped amazon and aliexpress links to those i could find and also i have a telegram group where you have um, suppliers who are already available to give you those items so do check the description of this video for them Now 
for the hand what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sewing it like so and then turning it the other way now we're going to be handling the main part of the turban now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it twice so that the um, rough edges would go inside so this is me folding it twice sorry that other part didn't show but it's you see later on how i'm doing it i fold it twice in and i use my office pin to hold it down so i'm going to do that all the way through to the length now if you don't know how to pleat i'll be dropping the link down i have a video on how to pleat the best way to pleat if you can pleat like this roughly there's a way you can use measurement it takes longer time but at least you're sure you'll have a perfect finish so keep watching and learning Okay, next thing you want to also pleat on top like so can you see how i'm doing it so you pleat it you fold it like so and then you use your safety pin to hold so i'm going to be doing this all the way down keep watching and learning Okay, now this is the way you place your band. Watch carefully, you're gonna fold it into two, like this, and this other one, you're going to place the other cork part to the straight part of the other one that you have placed. Can you see it there? You sew it with your sewing machine all the way down. And then you take it like so, place it like this, and you're going to place the um, other part that you pleated like this on top. So I'm gonna sew it straight like this. I will fold it, then, I would not sew it from the top part, don't mind my hand, I will sew it from after the band, then I will sew it all the way around, then I will sew the hand. So this is it, just what you see how it is. So you can see I have sewn all of them like so, uh huh. so you can see that there's a gap, this is how the band is, okay. So I'm going to turn it around, can you see that I folded the other part at this other side where the hand is, so there's a space, see it. For the head to enter in so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do running stitches so take note again of that pleats of that space from the band up to this place where i'm doing starting my um running stitches now that part is to allow the turban to enter the head perfectly no matter the style the person has made okay so now i've knotted it first i've sewn it twice in the beginning at that side and now i'm doing running stitches so i'm going to do it all the way like so i would give a curve at each tip and go all the way just keep watching and learning i'm sure you'll get the hang of it 
Then I also saw actually those two parts, you know after you do your curve there's a part that shoots out to form like a triangle or rather like a cone. So I saw that in, I bend it and also sew that in. So this was an urgent request no need to start waiting to go to the weaver or and this material you can use zigzag scissors to make it neat because it frays so what i'm going to do is take my lighter and i'm going to burn all the edges like so and it will make it look very fantastic it will look neat see how it looks can you see how it looks it looks fantastic okay so i turn it back this way and i place it on my turban so i'll be able to attach the nest design that i need to do okay and that's our using our bed cage fill so i first of all take the bed cage fill i bought a yard and i want to test and see how many can i really make use of and i got to realize that nine inches is just perfect for the design i want to do now this is the way you cut your bed cage you make sure that that diamond shape that place that has plenty lines you cut it so that it's not hanging the um how would I put it? The strands of the bed cage is not hanging, so that's what I'm doing. So I cut it all the way through like that. Remember, this is nine inches, okay? So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take it and place it on the turban like so. Take note of how I place it. Can you see? So I'm going to be pleating the edge one edge like so now this part that is sewn is the part i cut myself which is very neat you can see that the triangles are joined together and not scattered that's why you need to take note of how to cut it so i placed it here and i see it's okay it's coming down the way i want so i'm gonna sew it like so so first of all i sew the veil on its own to hold it as i've pleated okay keep watching and learning I'm done I start sewing it to the turban till it is sewn perfectly and fits the way that I want okay so the next thing we're gonna do right now is to get back to our um, the part that we're going to be putting our cream, thick crinoline now this is it remember the measurement was um, 5 by 36 inches so I'm gonna use my safety pin to turn it right side out keep watching and learning
after that was done i cut it into um, equal parts making it 12 of course 12 times 3 will give you 36 so i cut it 12 12 12 and then this is the way you put your crinoline in you don't just take the crinoline the thick crinoline straight as it is and start pushing it inside it will just hang in the whatever you won't be able to do it smoothly so what you do is you fold it into two and then you push it like so and pull out one side and then you fold right so i did all three pieces like so and this is the way i sew them as you can see it keep watching and learning When I was done with that, I took it back to the dummy that has already, the designs I already have there. And I'm going to sew this two on top. You know that place where you sewed the bed cage veil? That's the same position you will put this and you begin to sew. Keep watching and learning. done with that the next thing i do is to take my rose now this rose if you don't know how to make it i made it from the silk material and it's made from um i use three inches by 24 inches if you don't know how to make it please join us in brush class two and you would get to know how to make it in the vent craft academy just make a request in the description you would see the class below the vent you see the reception rather the vent craft academy reception click on it and make a request for brush class too so now this is how you sew it to the top and keep watching and learning
that's how you make this lovely turban with bed cage if you enjoyed this video please and you gained value do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed mm, please do click on the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and check out this next video